everyone. So today I'm at the Harvard Museum of Natural History. This is one of my favorite museums in the Boston area. Um, it's technically in Cambridge, so it's not in Boston. But this is one of my favorite museums in the Boston area and possibly one of my favorite museums that I've like ever been to in the world. I just love this museum. And so I thought I'd show you guys what it's like inside. flowers exhibit which is a pretty popular and well-known exhibit. It has more than 780 species of plants on display and over 4,300 models. These glass flowers were made by Leopold and Rudolf Blaschka from 1887 to 1936. Honestly, I've always found botany to be incredibly boring, but what I find really interesting about this exhibit is how brilliantly detailed each model is. Not only is the level of skill of these artists on display, but it also shows how much detail and how well they knew plants from all around the world and their reproductive structures. So if you ever get a chance to go see this in person, I definitely recommend you do because this video does not do justice how brilliant these models are. gorgeous neon paintings of life in the deep sea and once again the camera doesn't do it justice so if you get the chance to come to this museum make sure you check out this exhibit. I really like how they included an exhibit on the ties between science and art because I honestly feel like that's not talked about a lot. Then we move on to the glass sea creatures exhibit which is made by the same father and son team who made the glass flowers. It's amazing how realistic they were able to make them and again I find it remarkable how much they knew about sea creatures and were able to create them with such detail.
by far my favorite, or one of my favorite rooms in this whole museum. I just love the setup of this room. I love the old museum-y smell. It just feels really authentic to how um, this museum was originally presented. I feel like it probably hasn't changed much since 18 something when this started. And this museum was originally uh, designed to be a teaching museum. So like Harvard zoology and biology students could come here and they would have to go all the way to Africa or Asia or Europe to see animals that look there. So that's kind of what this room is for. Um, and I love how they have just huge whales <laughs> hanging right above me. Um, so yeah, this is like by far one of my favorite rooms. It's very, very authentic natural history museum in my opinion. all-time favorite room in the entire museum, the Hall of Marine Life. Fun fact about me, I did a high school program at Shoals Marine Lab a few years ago and it was the most amazing experience and then I came to this museum for the first time in my adult life not long after and I developed a pretty strong emotional attachment to this room, I'm not gonna lie. I think this room is done so beautifully. It's a great room to just sit and spend some time and look at the displays they have. It's a great way to see how fractal benthic coastal communities are. The longer you look, the more you'll find. I also really like how the wall displays are split up by invertebrate phyla and then fish taxonomy. really like about the Harvard Museum of Natural History is how their displays are a mix of fossils, preserved specimens, taxidermy, recreated models, etc. I think it's a great way to keep the museum for the purpose of teaching science to university students and also make it appealing to the general public. video thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed it please like this video give it a comment down below and subscribe to my channel i make new videos every monday about marine biology environmental science college lifestyle stuff like that so if that's something you enjoy please subscribe thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next week bye